There is one more um, solid principle that is really interesting, and it's, to, and it's called interface segregation. So, as you notice, we create an interface here. Um, let me show you a sort of a problem. So, this is a very basic service. It just has only one method. But it's very difficult to start adding stuff here. So, one could be get one, or get detail, or whatever, which would be pretty much the same, but it would call a detail on the user model. So, it would actually return a single object, not an array. Another could be create, which could return void, or maybe another observable of the same model. That would be more restful. Um, then we could have delete and so on and so on. And that would violate this interface segregation principle. So what is interface segregation? Interface segregation says that uh, no client should depend on a method that it does not use. So what can we do in this situation? Well, we should rename this service into something more readable and more understanding of what it does. And one of the ways would be, what I like to do is to just say what method does it include. So it gets all users. Boom. Um, yeah, I said that it did pretty... We could, we could actually keep it as the user service, it's, we know it's, it's part of it, and then add more interfaces in here. <laughs> That's pretty funny what it does to show how to completely sorry for that. Uh, uh, it. Cool. Um, and now everywhere we use it, we should actually change it. The same here. Now, now, don't get me wrong, like this service, this HTTP user service could easily uh, implement more than one method, right? This is sort of like what it happens with uh, interfaces in uh, lifecycle hooks in Angular. Like this ng on end is a single interface, but yet the component can implement both ng on in it, ng after, whatever, you know, on destroy, whatever it is. So this service can also implement multiple interfaces. But what's important is that from the perspective of the component, we only use this single one. Okay, and the last thing is tests. Funny it didn't actually replace it as well. Let's see if it's still green. Yeah, so now we should be fine. And confirm that here. Yeah, we still get the list. So, what we've learned today is that um, you should design a smaller interfaces and then implement those interfaces in your infrastructure implementations. This way, uh, you're more solid and you're following the rules that actually make your code a lot more scalable and a lot more robust. Um, there is a lot of <laughs> benefits that we're going to cover in the future, but you know, things from CQRS or whatever, you could easily like de decouple like your reads and writes. Um, for example, in Jamstack, a common approach is to, um, you know, read from like the files, you know, Some, something pre rendered. So let's say I have an API and I can post from one side. Um, that's never cached, but then whatever I get is actually a cached version of it. It could be a static file, it could be, um, uh, you know, a cache ready server or whatever kind of thing I'm hitting. But the whole point is that, you know, this interface segregation doesn't like get you into thinking that you're only um, doing like, um, uh, that, that the services is everything, you know, and also like it's more single responsibility because uh, we know that all the only thing we want is, is this one. So I hope it makes sense. Please let me leave me a comment if uh, you have any questions.